Hey, DF crew, appreciate this isn't recent news, but especially with John being present this week, I was really hoping to hear your thoughts regarding disc rot. It seems that the emergence of defective discs from WB, this concern has come into the limelight again. Is there really anything to be worried about here? Hard to really know, but it was interesting to learn Blu-rays may have a potential life of 20 years. Should we be concerned about our collections, and is this, will this be a worry for preservation going forward? It's difficult with so much conjecture on the topic online. Cheers, gents. Hmm, this is a tricky one, but I think it, it ultimately comes back to poor manufacturing. In most cases where disc rot has occurred, it was because of the the specific facility where that batch of discs or run of discs had been made. There was an error in the way that they produced the discs. And that seems to be the case with WB's discs specifically. That because Blu-ray discs in general, I don't think are rotting out. It's that specific run from WB. Uh, and in fact... You know, and that was the case in the past where you'd have like some CDs or DVDs that could have been, you know, the layering didn't work right, a problem with the glue, or if they were kept in extreme temperatures, not looked after. I myself actually went through some years ago and tested all of my discs <laughs> to figure out what's good and what's not. And I was not able to find even one example of disc rot. I found a couple discs that had some damage where like, like a little bit of the top label was scraped. And you could see like a pinhole through the disc, which mm. caused some data loss in like two cases. But the way disc rot presents, um, I don't know, even discs going back to like the late 80s, like the earliest PC engine stuff or music CDs from the 80s, they they can still be okay. Uh, so I'm not convinced it's necessarily a widespread problem yet. Outside of HD DVD, Mm. And maybe laser disc to a lesser HD DVD, by the way, was I don't know what they were doing with making those discs, but those actually have largely failed. But yeah, most that of them are dead. <laughs> we're extremely lucky that HD DVD did not win that format war because it was clearly not a good format in the end. At least the way the discs were made, they are prone to failure. I don't think that's necessarily true on Blu rays, but I'm certainly still being hopeful. We'll see. We'll see soon enough if it suddenly starts to get worse or if it applies to others. But for now it feels isolated to WB. Um, I'm not sure if either of you guys have thought much about this. Cause I don't think you have large collections of discs, but uh, although Alex, you do have some old school PC games on yeah, CD. I've got old PC games on CD and I've yet to see a single PC CD game, not yeah. work as far as I know. And I've, tested pretty much all of them so far at least ran them i didn't install the game necessarily um no that's that seems fine enough uh if anything i'm just afraid they'll they'll get scratched or something like that or um you know this is eventually there's not going to be a lot of people selling cd drives and stuff that's more the kind of like there aren't that many new blu-ray players being made anymore right so you know it's another thing to be worried about yeah yeah all over uh, I don't have a great collection of older titles on disc-based media for the most part. Um, from what I understand, depending on the cartridge format, those should be pretty impervious depending on the on the format there. Maybe less so with Switch, but certainly with older cartridge yeah. formats, I think. So um, I feel pretty safe there with like my older uh, SNES games and N64 games, hopefully. And those all still, all still work to my knowledge. So I'm not, yeah, for Blu-ray based games, I don't really have a particular backlog of them, but I, I still think that under good storage conditions, if you have like good storage conditions, maybe not archival level storage conditions, but certainly good storage conditions, they should last many decades. I'd expect over 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. I've seen quotes of up to a hundred years, potentially, obviously we don't have real world data in the wild for anything like that, but um, hopefully it mm -hmm. is just limited to this like WB disc run that occurred for a few years um, early into the, the, the life cycle of Blu-ray drives. Yeah, indeed. So I can at least confirm that my copy of Talladega Nights that was included with my PlayStation 3 purchase back in 2006 still works. So <laughs> That is such a 2006 <laughs> movie. Jeez. Okay. <laughs>